Gravel Essentials for Big Epics. Gonna chat a little bit today about the essentials I take with me on Big Gravel Epics. Whether that's exploring a new route or doing some of these course recon videos I've been releasing. Going to talk about what I take on these adventures and the gear I use. So this channel has had a lot of growth lately and with that growth, a lot of questions have been coming in on gear I use, opinions on different gear, things of that sort. So I thought today I would just drop a little video on all my essentials that I take with me on big gravel rides, road rides, but first, little disclaimer, I am not paid, sponsored, affiliated, branded with, or anything fun, cool like that. All of this gear, things I'm talking about today, I have paid with my own money. Nobody is watching this telling me to say or not say something. This is all my own opinions and everything you see here, again, I paid with my own money. As nice as it would be to have brands just throwing things at me, that is not the case currently. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So essentials, where should we start? Let's start with hydration. I live in Reno, Nevada. Currently our temps are about low 90s, high 90s most every day. Occasionally we're in the 80s. So with that, hydration is key. Now, a lot of these big epics that I do, a lot of these recons that I do, there is absolutely no place, no store or anything to stop at. So being that most of the riding that I do on these adventures and course recons, I don't have places for refills and things like that, packing all my water and all my essentials is key. So with that said, let's talk about hydration first. Now, more specifically, hydration vest. I feel like most people are running a USWE pack nowadays, and because I am not, I get a lot of questions on what pack I'm running for my hydro vest. It is a Solomon Advanced Skin 12. It is actually a running vest. Now, I know you're wondering why am I using a running vest for cycling? Well, I'm also a runner, so I actually had this vest originally and just decided why not try it on the bike. And to my surprise, it worked out surprisingly well. This is a huge essential, I feel like nowadays, with temps getting warmer, just being able to take as much water as you can, especially for what I do, is huge. So the nice thing about this vest, I have a two liter bladder that I put in the back here. I can also run just regular water flask up front, but I normally just run the two liter bladder in the back. The two liter bladder is actually an ultra spire bladder that I just popped in here, fits pretty nice. The thing I actually really enjoy about this vest, which I will show you, is the fact that it has Tons of pockets on the front, right? I can reach on either side here. Oh look, I even got some trash. I can reach on either side here and stuff these little side pockets with all kinds of snacks. That comes in super clutch. Just quick access, grab whatever I need. Really like that. As well, it's got two zipper pockets on each side right here. So I can stash important things or anything I need to reach in a pinch. Now, one of the questions I got asked about this vest recently was, where do you put the hose? I used to have a magnetic clip and it actually used to clip just right off to the side here. But now, try to do this without messing up the audio. Now all I do is just take my hose and literally wrap it wrap it underneath the straps that go across. Then that way, it's just easy to kind of lean over, take a sip, good to go. I can still easily pull the whole thing out if I need to. Yeah, essential, very important essential right here is my hydration vest. There's lots of options out there, obviously. Usui being probably the biggest option. I've had this vest for over three years now. There's probably new versions of it, but it works perfect. 
Maybe the only downside is compared to a specific cycling vest would be the bladder probably does not sit as high on the back as a specific cycling vest. But it doesn't matter to me. It has a really big storage compartment back here as well. I can stuff a bunch of stuff in there. So yeah, where I live, for what I do, what kind of riding I do, hydration vest, super clutch. And actually, like I said, being as warm as our temps are now, I wear this probably about 70% of the time on the road bike or riding on the road as well. Um, if I'm gonna go out there do 50 to 100 miles or I'm gonna go out there for a short ride and it's well over 100, guaranteed that is on my back. And while we're on the topic of hydration, this little thing is an absolute essential at least for me out here. This is a hydro pack bladder with a filter on the top. So a lot of my desert stuff does not have water access, but the stuff that I ride up near Truckee or anywhere that's more in the mountains, anywhere that I know there's at least some kind of water source, I will bring this along. Nice thing is I just fill this up pop the filter back on, and then I can fill up either my two liter bladder, fill up my bottles. Yeah, I do actually have these in a smaller version. Solomon makes one as well in a smaller version with the filter on it and everything. But I like this one because it's bigger and it's actually really easy to just refill whatever you need to. So hydration essentials. My hydration pack, and this is always on me as well if I know there's gonna be water because this is super clutch just to fill up, get your bottles refilled. When you can't hit a gas station or anything like that, amazing. Um, yeah, really love that. Still on the topic of hydration. Took me forever to find these. One liter bottles. I run two one liter bottles. This is a full liter. Yeah, I've gotten asked a lot about the bottles I run. So these are just a Trek branded bottle. I don't even know like what bottle company this is, but I found them at my local Trek shop. They literally had two there and I snagged them up because I have looked everywhere for that. So my hydration essentials are always two liters on my back and two liters on my bike with that and this filter to top off if I need to. Absolute fan of the big one liter bottles. They're hard to find, but if you can find them, they're amazing. And I run a small frame. Surprisingly, they fit in there pretty well. The only time that they don't fit is if I'm running a frame bag. But yeah, one liter bottles from Trek. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon or somewhere else that comes in clutch. Yeah, that's pretty much it for hydration, other than the fact that I think another essential thing taking out there on these kinds of rides is some kind of hydration packet. You can get the little caps or you can get little baggies, whatever really works. I normally carry a couple hydration packets just to top off the sodium in my bottles. Okay, another key essential for gravel riding, especially if you ride like where I ride, which is mostly super, super remote places. No cell service, no quick access to get out. Safety. This is probably the best tech, best peace of mind I own. It is a Garmin inReach 2 Mini. Essentially what it is is a satellite communication device. I am able to receive and send texts as well as my location. And on top of that, it has an SOS button on it for your local emergency if something happens and you need rescue. Yep, I do not leave home out on big rides without this. Road, dirt, runs, does not matter. A lot of the places I ride have zero service. So knowing that People can track me from this back home, knowing that I can reach help if I need it, if something happens to me or somebody I'm riding with. This is probably the biggest essential that you could have. 
They have subscriptions. I have the unlimited subscription, which is not cheap. I think it's like 50 something dollars a month. They have other plans, but absolutely safety. Nice thing is I have a Garmin Edge bike computer. So all the messages and everything come through this into that. One more thing about this little InReach Mini. I see a lot of people using this, but it always seems to be like on bike packing trips and stuff on their bike. So for me, I always, I always keep this on me, physically on me. With this vest that I run, I keep it right up in this top pocket here, clipped in. That way, for whatever reason, I eat crap or I get separated from my bike. This thing is not with my bike a million miles away. It's within reach so I can grab, hold down that SOS, just a little peace of mind. A lot of people leave it like in their top bag or somewhere else on the bike, which is fine. But if you think about it, you eat crap and uh, you need to reach the thing and you're not with your bike, can be a problem. And on top of safety, the one thing I definitely always carry as well in this hydration pack is a first aid kit. Um, essentials, really nothing major. Band-aids, gauze, um, wipes, things like that. I think the most important one is bleed stop. This will help stop bleeding. It's kind of like sand almost. And if you stuff the crap out of a wound with this, it will stop bleeding. I learned that from a motorcycle accident. So that is probably the most important thing in my first aid kit as well. I do have needle and thread on top of safety. I think this is absolute essential that everybody should be carrying out on big rides. And on top of safety, I know this is not, I mean, this is kind of a given, right? Like this is an essential, a helmet is essential. I'm including this because I do get questions a lot about what helmet I'm running. So this is a Rudy Project Nitron. It is not cheap. It is the next down from their most aero helmet, which is for triathlon. Um, so this is a step down from that. It's like 300 something dollars. Why I use this? Well, it has outlasted my POC helmet, honestly, and it's what I have had since doing triathlon, and it works really well. The question I get asked most, other than what helmet I use, um, is the breathability, because it is an aero helmet. It does not have a whole lot of vents. I have had no issues. I run this in 100 degrees plus. It's got some vents in the back for... The aerodynamics has got a little bit in the front, but I don't overheat in it. I don't have any issues with it. So yeah, Broody Projects, Nitron, I ride this for everything. Gloves. Some people use them, some don't. I will say this is an essential for me for every ride. These ones that I run most of the time are just a specialized dual gel so they have some gel and padding in the hands um i did eat crap recently having these on this little padding right here stop my hands my palms from ripping open next essentials and probably some of the most important is having the right tools if something goes wrong first one being a pump this is the Silka Tactico pump. Not cheap, reliable, works great. I used to only run CO2s. And then, well, one time ran out of CO2s and then I realized it's time to get a pump. So good little pump. It mounts right next to my water bottle cages. Really like it, works great. I actually ended up using this more than CO2s nowadays because it's just fast and simple. Little hand pump. This is my rear tool bag from Almost There. Solid little bag, holds a lot. And this is what I keep if I get in a pinch. Dyna plug. Dyna plug. Way better than bacon strips. You just take it off, 
stab that little sucker in maybe a couple times if your tires are big enough. So I always have a Dyna plug with me. I always have Dyna plug refills. That's always. On top of that, I have, you can't see in this nasty little thing, valve cores and I have chain extensions. Valve cores and chain extensions always in that. As well, I carry a valve core remover from stands. Um, on top of that, couple CO2s, TPU tubes. Lightweight, small, packs down. I always carry one of those or two of those. Little Lenzine CO2 pump. Then other than that would be a multi-tool, which is missing for some reason. Um, I have a little Topeak multi-tool. And then on top of the multi-tool, I always carry a Leatherman. This just comes in handy sometimes because a pair of pliers, it's got a couple extra tools that you don't have on a multi-tool. Yeah, those are definitely my essentials for if something were to go wrong. I would say the only thing that's missing from here is a, some kind of boot if you get a slash in your tire and you can't fix it. I got tires I was working on earlier, so not all my tools are here, but tire levers as well. Okay, another essential. I don't always like carrying things in my jersey pocket. I don't always like overstuffing my hydration vest. So, so a top two bag has become an essential for my rides. I don't like always overstuffing my my hydration vest. I don't like overstuffing my jersey pockets. At the end of the day, after 100 plus miles, that extra weight on you kind of tires you out. So, top two bag. This one I've been getting a lot of questions about as well. It is a restrap race. It is their long top two bag. I believe it's a liter and a half. They have a, a longer one, a medium, and then like a shorter one. This is the medium because I got a small frame. This has become super essential for me because I can put a lot of stuff in there, easy access, don't have to dig around in any of the pockets, and it takes the weight off. In here, I normally have just all my snacks, maybe my credit card ID, things like that. I do normally put my Dyna plug in this nice little pocket here. That's excellent. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of questions about this. Maybe at some point I'll do a review on like the bags I use, but it does not move around. I get questions about that. When you overstuff it, it actually has some plastic in the wall, so it can't really overstuff, doesn't rub the legs, doesn't move around. Yeah, this is huge. This is an essential for me. I love having just storage on the bike that is not physically on me. Those are my gravel essentials. I feel like there should be more. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Cycling specific sunglasses, definitely an essential. I get a lot of questions about my glasses. Uh, normally you'll see me in an orange pair or recently this pink pair. They are Tifosis. This is the Sledge Light, and the orange ones are the Sledge. The lenses are replaceable, so you can change them out for different colors and things like that, but they work phenomenal. Um, great protection, fully covers the face, still able to look behind, see everything I need to see behind me. Yeah, good set of glasses is definitely essential for big epics, riding in general. Also makes a difference that they're cycling specific. If you've ever worn non-cycling specific, sometimes your eyes can end up watering quite a bit. Um, other than that, I will run down just a little bit of some extra things that I carry in my hydration vest. I always carry a thing of lube. I think that is absolutely essential. I live out in the desert. Chains dry out super fast. If you wax your chain, good for you. I've had people come out on rides with wax chains and didn't sound so great at the end. I also always carry an extra SRAM battery. 
just in case I have a fear of that thing dying even though it's never died on me before. Sunscreen, I always carry a tiny little bottle of sunscreen on me. Again, out in the desert, fry out pretty quick. And that is my gravel essentials. These are the items and things that I take with me pretty much on all my big epics, on my course recons, things like that. Um, I think the only other thing I didn't mention, I'll normally carry a pair, an extra pair of socks, cycling socks in this bag as well. I get hot spots, I got not great shoes. Um, so yeah, feet wet, get dirty. It's just nice to have a clean pair of socks to put on every now and then. 100% sure I miss something because I always miss something. Drop a comment below, let me know what are your essentials, maybe what I missed, because I'm sure I missed something. Yeah. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Throw the bottle at you. That's all I got.